I've always been interested in how things work and fascinated by science, even from very early on and, and certainly in high school. The idea that electricity and magnetism are related and are actually the same thing uh, just uh, fueled my interest in how do things work. And what a fascinating subject is the human body for how it works and how does the mind work, how does the brain work. And really my entry into research uh, is fueled by, by my interest in how does it work. My laboratory right now is really focused on understanding how gene expression is regulated in the injured spinal cord. What I'm most proud of today is really uh, what's really come out recently in publication, which is our identification of this switch gene, a gene that actually controls uh, the expression of scar genes, which is inhibitory to nerve growth. No one else had really looked at the problem from this point of view. The identification of this target uh, has ramifications in terms of development of strategies to block it now because you can have certain predictions if you block it you should improve recovery from spinal cord injury and it also has a much broader application to nervous system uh, damage uh, in general whether it be by trauma brain injury or whether it be vascular such as stroke so uh, we think it's a, a huge contribution and really the beginning of a road for us which is exciting so my end hope would be in five years, 10 years, that actually we have a pipeline of inhibitors that actually stop the expression of these inhibitory genes and that that will have a real effect on people. So be able to go to the clinic and, and be able to make people that have spinal cord injury function better. In some ca cases that could mean walking, but even more simply, I think people don't recognize spinal cord injury most patients don't name walking as the number one thing that they would like to do again. It's things that we take so much for granted like uh, bladder control, bowel control, all those things that we take for granted but absolutely gets in the way of lifestyle of those who have a spinal cord injury. So if we can make any sort of head roads in any of those sorts of areas, I'd be really gratified, it'd be a wonderful thing.